Taylor, talk about the the season you guys are having so far. Pretty successful, uh, especially this past week. You play defense. Uh, you guys pitched two shutouts. Uh, talk about how you, how you guys are playing. Uh, it's been a great season so far. Um, one of the big things is uh, it's a historical season so far. That's what they're saying, and that's a that's a great feeling um, for the guys. And f um, we've been um, working hard, especially like you said on defense. Um, getting shut shutouts is a main goal for us, and it has been. And two big shutouts this weekend has been huge. And then finally getting some big goals, like a five goal game um, for us, has been big also. Talk about uh, your your experiences uh, as as an SVSU men's soccer player. Uh, playing here, uh, things you enjoy, the other you know, hanging out with the other guys. Yeah, it's been great. Um, soccer's always been a big part of my life, so being able to continue it um, in college was always a goal of mine. And coming here and playing at SVSU has been great. Um, it's been a great experience. I've learned a lot as a player. And um, a lot of the things have also helped me to grow as a better person, um, both on the field and off the field, being an athlete um, at the college level. And I love hanging out with the guys, I'm close with a lot of them. We're always hanging out as a group and having fun. So, You guys are our GLIAC regular season champions. Uh, talk about where you guys go from here, uh, starting with the big match on, on Thursday against Northwood. Um, it's a huge um, relief, really, to, to hear that when we did, um, that we were GLIAC champions. It's a great feeling. But at the same time, um, it's always been um, our mentality that it's um, not good enough. We, we can do more. Um, always getting better. And uh, Thursday, including the, the practices leading up to that, and um, this Thursday's game at Northwood is the main goal right now still. So we're focused on that. You guys are playing well on defense. Uh, are there things you can improve, things you guys are working on to uh, get, e get even better? There's always things we can do um, to get better on defense. Um, trying to keep a good formation, a good back line, strong, um, not being too flat. That's one of the things we kind of focus on. Um, it's key to our defense. And just continuing to winning, win tackles, win balls, um, just playing big. and trying to get the ball to our forwards and our midfielders so they can do what they do. Kale, right. two big wins uh, last week. Shutouts in both of them. Uh, you got to be pretty happy with those efforts. Yeah, it was a good all-around effort from the team, top to bottom. Uh, a lot of contributors this weekend, as we've had all season. Um, but it's always good to go out with an attacking style and get your goals, but play well enough and organize enough to keep the goals out of your own net. So uh, it was a productive weekend. We were pretty satisfied. Talk about the the defense in particular, uh, guys who are stepping up, guys who are playing well on defense. Yeah, well, we've got, we usually, you know, with our four starters, and then we also bring in a couple subs in the back line, we've got a very a very well-rounded group of, of players that are athletic, but they've got enough uh, skill to handle possession, handle pa handle passing, um, as well as a, a goalkeeper who's stepped up tremendously this year. So some good leaders back there, um, Zach Myers and Taylor Clark, uh, kind of solidify that central defensive role. And then we've got three or four guys on the outsides that, that work very hard getting up and down, up and down the line defensively and attacking. Uh, kind of help wear the, wear the teams out. Um, so we've got a good group back there that, that's getting better every week, and that's the key. Talk about the other side of the ball, the offense. Uh, this past week they put some balls in the net, which is nice to see. Uh, talk about the offense. Yeah, this season we've had some uh, some guys really step up offensively. Uh, Lachlan Savage now has seven goals in the in the conference alone, so that's that's pretty good. He's one of the leading scorers, and he's a midfielder. Um, Connor Aom has stepped up for some big goals, some big assists. Um, he's been coming off the bench, but that's just the way we kind of play him. He's definitely good enough to be a starter, um, but he brings some flair and some firepower off the bench that teams aren't ready for later in the half. So he's been great for us. Tyler Channel scored another goal this weekend um, as a forward, a freshman forward. So we've got we've got a lot of different different threats coming from all different positions offensively, and I think that balance coming from midfielders, outside mids, wingers, forwards. I mean, teams 
it's hard for teams to pick out one guy to try to shut down because we kind of share the ball in a sense that, you know, we've got danger coming from a lot of different places. So it's been good for us. You guys clinched the GLIAC title, regular season title over the weekend. Um, talk about how it feels. I know you guys aren't done, so you probably, you know, not really focused on that, but talk about how that feels. Yeah, I mean, that's been a big goal for us the whole time. We, we wanted to host the conference tournament, um, and we always talked about playing every game throughout the regular season as it was a playoff game. And I think that we've showed throughout the year that we can we can handle the big games and we can also, uh, you know, get the results that we're supposed to get against maybe a team that's that's uh, maybe not ranked as high or whatever. But we've, we've done well getting the results and, and going forward. But, you know, being the first championship for men's soccer in school history, it does mean something to us big time. But at the same time, you know, we've still got two regular season games left and we've got, you know, higher aspirations. We want to finish the season strong. We want to do well in the conference tournament. We want to keep going forward into the NCAA playoffs. So our, our main focus, you know, is today's practice. Because if we don't do better today and we don't get better tomorrow, you know, we won't be ready for Thursday's game, let alone, you know, four weeks down the road if we're even lucky enough to get there. So our focus remains one day at a time, and I think that's what's gotten us to the position we're in right now. Lastly, talk about the match against uh, Northwood on Thursday. It's going to be a battle. That's all I can say. You know, they're they're always physical. They're our local rival. They're a very good team this year. They beat us 1-0 at our place last time. So obviously we want to go there and have a good showing. But I know that, that they're in a position right now where where they want to finish their season well. You know, they're second in the conference right now. And, and being the local rivalry and having those kind of personal battles of guys that know each other through camps and through playing each other in the last couple of years, it's going to be uh, – an extremely physical physical battle, and uh, I think that our team will be well prepared for it, so we're excited to go.